Everyone, remain calm. Yeah, ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and then screaming. Somebody talk to me, what is happening? Welcome to Jurassic World. You're listening to the Jurassic Park Podcast. You want to consult here or in my bungalow? <laughs> Hold on to your butt. Well, we're back. Hello and welcome to a special update episode of the Jurassic Park Podcast. I'm your host, Brad Jost, and uh, today is June 22nd, 2017, and we just got some big news. The poster for uh, the Jurassic World sequel was revealed, and it spelled out the name of the title and everything like that. But before we get into it, I wanted to bring in uh, uh, one of our contributors here, Aaron Beyer. How's it going, Aaron? Good, Brad. How are you? I am am so pumped and ready to talk about this. This is... uh, Really fun time for us fans. Yeah, you know, today, uh, you know, June 22nd, 2017, just we had a quite a big uh, it was quite a big day for news as far as like kind of revival movies were concerned. Uh, We had some Star Wars news today and then we got uh, this Jurassic World news on top of it. So um, I feel like maybe that one kind of might overshadow the other, but we can go into that later. Yeah, you know, it kind of um, actually for us Jurassic Park fans started yesterday on the 21st that like, um, was that yesterday? Yeah, I guess it was. Uh, Frank Frank Marshall tweeted out like uh, some big news coming soon or no, yeah, I guess it was two days ago and we all assumed it would be on the 22nd, which is the uh, year or from now it'll be uh, in theaters. So that's why it's like the 22nd plays a big role in this. But um, the other day, Frank Marshall tweeted some big news is coming and then this morning... Um, J.A. Bayona, the director of the Jurassic World sequel, posted a a teaser image of sorts. Did you get a chance to to see that one? Yeah, you know, I saw the teaser image, and at first I I wasn't sure if it was just, like, you wouldn't think of this, but naturally you're like, oh, it's the car, right, from the first movie. But then I was thinking, well, the it kind of looks exactly like the box with the breakout wrecks. And I'm thinking, like, okay, like, did he just take a photo (laughs) of that or something? But, you know, there's greenery in that footage, so I'm definitely inclined to think that it's the it's the car from the first movie and there's no reason for it not to be exactly yeah i mean look at the thing uh you know he tweeted the picture with exciting news coming very soon and uh yeah it's basically that uh circle image of the t-rex and the trees below it and you see the letter k in that classic you know jurassic park font and you do see that like kind of uh, it's hard to make out because this thing is very demolished looking very like dirty and and destroyed and uh but you do see the green and the reds and and the fade of the uh the ford explorers from the first film and uh you know instantly kind of like you said i'm i'm thinking all right this is the one that fell over the ravine thing and and down into the tree and fell down from the tree and hit the ground so that's what i'm assuming here and and uh, i you know I, i played like a fun game with myself and i kind of flipped over my phone and i'm like all right, that looks about right, <laughs> and it works. So uh, I, I was like, man, there better be better be more teased than this uh, this image. <laughs> yeah, you know, at first when they said big news, I don't know why I was I I guess because we haven't had a title for so long. I just kind of wasn't thinking that it was gonna be a title. I was thinking like, oh, they might reveal like a set piece with an animatronic like raptor or something, you know. Um, they keep they keep boasting that they're going to be doing more animatronics, and so I thought, well, this would be kind of a cool like, um, kind of like when they released like the first image from Man of Steel, where it was just Superman like kind of in shadow a little bit in front of that bank vault. Like I I kind of thought maybe it would be something similar, but like with a dinosaur in that car. Um, yeah, you know maybe maybe replicating that poster that we all love from the first movie. Uh, but no, we got the title, which is which is great news. Yeah, well, well, yeah, I actually did think that like this first image from Bayona is kind of like a replication of that Mark Engler poster that was passed out at uh, Comic-Con a few years ago. It kind of, you know, we all thought that that was going to be something big. 
Now you remember that one, right? Obviously the uh, oh, very yeah, cartoony I have that, looking. I have that but... poster. Um, oh yeah, it's a great poster. It's it's an awesome image. Um, what's neat about it is that if you get the blue variant, there, there's a dinosaur in the background being lifted by a helicopter, mm -hmm. and depending on whatever version you get, that dinosaur is different. Um, like I think one is a Triceratops and the other is a Stegosaurus. So, okay. um, but yeah, I know exactly what, po I know exactly what post you're talking about. I think most fans do. Yeah. Um, and, and I would love the, to see that come to life. Exactly. Well, that's the thing back then we, we assumed it was, it was going to, you know, come to life. And in that picture, it looks like, you know, dinosaurs are being brought to the Island. Like the Island is actually under construction and all that. Um, and here, I mean, we don't know where we're at standing now with, uh, you know, this image, but are they actually going to make everybody's kind of dream come true and revisit that scene? Because everybody did get so hyped up when they saw that that teaser poster back then. Uh, maybe they're going to actually make it happen, which would be really cool. Um, but this is just a side note. I mean, we should probably get into the the actual news, the, the, the big thing that everybody's talking about right now, um, which is the title. Yeah, I mean, Fallen Kingdom, what do you think of that? Dude, I mean, you know, the morning started out checking that image first and then constantly refreshing Twitter. So I'm, I'm checking it and checking it and checking it. And then finally, Jurassic World, the fall, or not the, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom pops onto my phone. Awesome poster. Um, I like it. I really do like the, the name. It's very different. You know, a lot of people... Uh, on online have liked the the name a lot of people don't like the name um, but it is very different I think for this franchise to have a name like this I don't know something about it you could say the same for the Lost World Jurassic Park but I don't know this feels a little bit different doesn't it yeah and you know I think they did it right this time it it never really felt right you know until after about 20 years it never really felt right that Jurassic Park was the subtitle of the Lost World <laughs> yeah um, it when it first was announced a long time ago, it would have made way more sense. And I think marketing wise, it would have made way more sense to call that movie Jurassic Park subtitle The Lost World um, and and kind of swap those that that banner around. Um, and by the banner, I mean where it says like Jurassic Park on the, the circle logo. Right. Yeah. Um, they definitely did it right They're They're not mixing their messaging. This is Jurassic World and then subtitle Fallen Kingdom. Um, I'm glad there's not a two. I know I saw some people around the internet saying they wish there was a two in this, like Jurassic no. World 2. But um, in all reality, this is not Jurassic World 2. We can keep calling it that. This is Jurassic Park 5, um, you know, yeah, in, in well, my eyes. You know, it. I would think if, if there was no mention of Jurassic Park in Jurassic World, I'd be like, okay, fine, Jurassic World 2. But uh, there are some – it definitely belongs in that – world this it's not a reboot it's a continuation so uh in my mind this is more of a jurassic park 5 than it is jurassic world 2 so i think by getting rid of the number that lessens any kind of confusion it's just it's a continuation of the jurassic world movie uh which is a continuation of the jurassic park franchise if that yeah. makes any sense well i you know i totally understand that and i personally have been calling it jurassic world 2 just to make it easy um, it's easy, right? But and that's also the way the the you know the studio is going. They've they've rebranded. You know, it's no longer Jurassic Park. They're only using the Jurassic World Twitter handle, uh, JurassicWorld.com, all this stuff. So they're sticking with the world. And even I think at the rap party in the UK, there was Jurassic World and two slashes. So yeah, they, and they that's have where been I recognizing that. A little that. nervous. I got a little nervous with the yeah, two slashes. I, won't I know, lie. right? <laughs> And even, you know, Colin Trevorrow, J.A. Bayona, they all been doing hashtag JW2 or Jurassic World 2. So it is it is a tough call. I understand both sides of the argument in a way, but we don't have to deal with that anymore. We have the fall, uh, Fallen Kingdom. I, I always want to put a the before it. That's, yeah, uh, that's you know, going to be think, hard. I think the Fallen Kingdom might have been a little um, – what do I want to say? I think, I think it might have been a little more clear, but uh, – in today's world of movies and subtitles they never put the word the or a or whatever it's mm -hmm. just always like you know star trek into darkness uh actually, in fact, the only ones using the anymore is star wars it feels like uh you know with the last jedi and um the well, force awakens the planet, the, the, oh my god the planet of the apes i was having a hard time because there's so many thes and even oh, like yeah. the dawn of the planet of the like too well too many things it's too much it's too <laughs> movie, right and so yeah. i feel like jurassic world fallen kingdom um it makes for great marketing. You know, they can hashtag everything JWFK. 
um, or just hashtag Fallen Kingdom, you know, without needing the the in there. Um, I the first thing that came to mind uh, with this title um, when they originally announced Jurassic World, everyone's initial thought was, well, they're updating Jurassic World is now like a bigger thing than Jurassic Park, kind of like how Disney World is a bigger thing than Disneyland, mm-hmm. and so. What I really like about Fallen Kingdom is it, Disney has this and, – and Disney has this beautiful, positive, bright-colored magic kingdom at Disney World. And then Jurassic World now has this dark, dingy, chaos-filled Fallen Kingdom. So we've got mm-hmm. the magic kingdom and we've got the Fallen Kingdom. And I think this totally nails on the head you know, kind of where I want the franchise to go. Yeah, exactly. That's the kind of thing that popped into my head. I'm such a big fan of Disney that I saw the word kingdom and it instantly made me think of the Magic Kingdom. And But that's the, the problem, though, I think, with this title is – well, not a problem. I guess it's a good thing. It makes you think of so many different things. And, you know, talking about the, first off, like if they had just gone the Fallen Kingdom, I think it would have been too specific and you would have been like, okay, Jurassic World fell – and now it's a fallen kingdom or whatever. Um, well, but, I feel like we're gonna we're gonna go down that route anyway. Um, yeah, just because of things Trevorrow has said, you know, we're we're tired of running around the jungle in these movies, which like I'm not like that to me. That's what it's all about. But mm-hmm. if if he's sick of seeing it and and he feels like other people are sick of seeing it and it's not fresh, then then sure, move on. But um, you know, there are some maybe some clues in the poster that we'll we'll talk about that maybe give me the feeling as to why we might see the end of. Uh, new blar but uh you know yeah i just really like that title i think it kind of harkens to it was either Crichton or spielberg at one point was talking about how like they wanted to they wanted to explore the dark side of disney when they did the lost world and it seems only fitting that 20 years later we're we're really sticking it to you know that quote with the fallen kingdom Mm -hmm. yeah it, it just evokes like so many images in your head when you think of you know theme parks and a lot of people actually do those like urban exploring and go to all these you know decayed places that look like what you'd kind of expect from that title even even in a uh, uh, right uh, sort of across from the magic kingdom itself there's the river country that's kind of all decayed and, and left the way it was i don't know if you've ever seen that but it's actually those images really are beautiful online like it's it's a hundred percent just haunting and it's oh yeah it's it's what i wish we got a little bit more of in Jurassic world is, is seeing overgrown rides and um, you know, they, even if they, man, even if they just got permission to shoot on, you know, at that closed Disney park, that just would have been some awesome uh, set location stuff. Yeah. And I mean, they, they actually filmed, uh, you know, the main street portion of Jurassic world at a fallen kingdom in a way, the, uh, the flooded, uh, six flags park in new Orleans. Right. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it's kind of evoking all that kind of imagery, but I think it's not specifically contained to just the park, you know, the fallen or fallen kingdom, man, I'm not, I'm going to have a really hard time not saying the, that's really tough, but, uh, fallen kingdom will evoke also the imagery of, like a, a falling race in a way, like the dinosaurs or a species, you know, or even humans. Like that's kind of what popped into my head is what is the fallen kingdom? Is it the park? Is it the human race? Is it dinosaurs? Like, so I have a, a, a feeling, but I don't know. I feel like Planet of the Apes already did the whole human race fallen kingdom kind of thing. But... I they did, know. and I hope that Universal is smart enough not to try to do that exact uh, thing. Um, you know, I, I Trevorrow came, came out and said, and, and this is kind of why uh, we have Jurassic World is because everything before the release of the name was Jurassic Park. You look at all the concept art; it's all it's still all Jurassic Park concept art. Um, the name was changed to specifically open it up to a larger scope story, uh, and and dealing with you know our decisions and and dealing with these animals interacting with our world so that's why they ended up changing it to jurassic world you know and it fits as as far as like the name of a theme park and then also kind of the the name of an like an overruling like title Mm -hmm. yeah so there's also the tagline on this life finds a way so uh it does the whole fallen kingdom leads me to think that like all right so dinosaurs find a way obviously it was used for dinosaurs that life finds a way quote in right. the first movie, so dinosaurs are finding a way to 
destroy or do something or or to i don't know but like the imagery that we see on top of this poster definitely kind of would i guess you know it's different than what uh what i'm trying to say as like dinosaurs moving on and developing and becoming the 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 you know main species in the planet um but this imagery definitely speaks differently i think because something might be happening on nublar yeah you know and i think if you follow like real news hawaii i'm not going to spoil anything uh here i follow them so i get kind of the images that uh you know to me like i, I look at some of these things and i'm like ah, it doesn't really spoil like story point or it doesn't really s spoil uh, i mean I, the images he's showing to me are already a part of the jurassic park franchise just being such a huge fan of like uh merchandising and stuff when i was a kid so like i look at that stuff and i go eh, like whatever I, it's nothing i haven't seen before yeah um so yeah, it's if you mostly follow vehicles him, you might be able to kind of yeah. like conclude where this might be going but um if you don't follow him yeah this is uh it's interesting and and again the stuff he's posting it's it's not like it's not spoilers to the movie he's just posting set photos it is you know those sets are in uh public space um, I was actually recently just there and, uh, you know, in Hawaii and I saw some of those same exact sets, uh, that he's showing. Um, I didn't take photos of them. We didn't get close enough. Uh, I don't know how he's getting so close or she or whoever it is, is getting so close. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's there in the public and even on the tour, they say, you know, they're not allowed to shut down those tours for, uh, shooting movies. So if you're there and you see a movie going on, you can take a photo. There's nothing stopping you unless the production wants to put up giant fences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like you said, everything's kind of far away, so you can't really see what's going on. But you can get some some inferences from you know what you see in a way. And there's been a lot of uh, you know stuff from even the cast, like I, or the crew, even like uh, Frank Marshall. Uh, I think has settled where we're gonna be in this movie, and he is time and time again said uh said um like oh it's so nice here on isla nublar so you're like all right well i guess it's not going to be sorna in this movie so i think that kind of settles that debate in a way um, yeah i'm getting a little worried that sorna is getting written out of this uh this franchise but i i don't know i guess well, it's all going to be it depend not, on the dialogue yeah. that malcolm has right no not necessarily getting written out we don't know but uh you know they could visit it for a short while that would be actually really cool because yeah we have never been to two islands at once you know right. in, a, in a single movie um so that would be really cool if they just like you know showed maybe where dr Wu went and maybe he went to new uh to sorna and now at some point point in the movie they're going to nublar so I just think he's heavily, you know, mentioned Nublar so many times that it's like, all right, well, I think that settles the debate. We're, we're definitely going to Nublar. Maybe we'll hit up Sorna, but that's not like a thing anybody has said. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I really don't even know. I don't even know if I feel like this movie is going to 100% take place on, on Nublar, really. Um, you know, he kind of came out and said, we're, we're tired of running around the jungles. And it's like, well, okay, so... He, when he said that, I'm like, okay, so you're not going to be on one of the islands for the whole movie. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Um, to me, during the Lost World, when the T-Rex gets to the mainland, that's kind of – like, don't get me wrong. I love that movie through and through, but that's the to me, that's the least interesting part um, when the T-Rex is in a world that we control mm -hmm. um, and just, just kind of wreaking havoc. Like, So part of me is like I kind of hope they don't rehash that again, but at the same time – uh, if they did do like a, a grungy style kind of world like The Walking Dead, I'd be 100% on board uh, with something like that. Yeah. So what we're inferring from the poster is looks like some smoke, obviously, some right. fire embers. Uh, yeah. And we got a lot of cracking going on on the uh, actual Jurassic World logo itself. Yeah. Um, the lo I don't feel like the logo itself is too different per se, but um, aside from the subtitle and the the cracking, but uh, it looks it looks cool. What do you have yeah, to I, uh, say about the logo itself? I think it looks itself? cool. Um, I think based on the map. So my one of my biggest uh, problems with Jurassic World is that there's the whole restricted section, um, mm -hmm. and they make a lot of uh, they direct your attention to it a lot in the first film and in all the props. There's the restrict there's the restricted section on the north side of the island and the north side of the island from 
one of the quote unquote official maps has a volcano, correct? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. So what I would essentially infer from these sparks is that, and the smoke is that something is uh, uh, happening with this volcano. And now I don't know if you know this, but I did spend one entire day at Volcano National Park in uh, Hawaii proper. So I feel like I'm a pretty good source of all things volcano knowledge, right? <laughs> and uh, based on just the logo, this logo is – it's not too different, but it is different enough. It's got, it's got like a rippled texture, and to me that looks almost like lava rock. Um, mm. So maybe something's going on with that volcano. You know, there was there's all these websites or that they, you know, what was it? Save the dinosaurs or or save new Blar or something like that. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe something's going on, uh, you know, on the north side of the island that they need to maybe save their creations. Yeah, I uh, I think that's a, a good possibility. And, and it's been a, you know, something we've all been wondering for a while. I, I kind of. I, I had this uh, theory a while back, and uh, I, I'm wondering if it's playing out exactly the way that I imagined, and uh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't know how that is happened. It so, but, uh, is it so much scary, or is it that the the producers and oh, – are they, are they listening to us? I mean, I look at Jurassic World, and I think, you know, 20-some years of people talking on the internet, like it sounds like they're listening, and then, you know, you get to, to this, and again, we don't know whatsoever um, – really what the sparks and the smoke mean and and the black rock but i mean to me that's that seems kind of obvious uh maybe they're listening you know hopefully they're listening right like maybe they're giving us what we all want which is which is awesome that's how movies should be made is is i'm not saying that directors and producers can't have a vision but you know listen to the millions of people that that like your product mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'm uh i'm trying to bring up the uh images here so i can kind of compare yeah i mean it uh the jurassic world logo was definitely shinier you know it, it had a a lot more shine to it let me see compared to the new one we have and it's definitely darker and uh grungier looking and yeah definitely cracked so a lot of people have, have mentioned uh the cracks online and stuff uh do you think they look overlaid, kind of photoshopped in, or do you have any kind of problem with the cracks? Do you think it looks good? Yeah, I mean, at this point <laughs> now, we are talking like super nitpicky, like I know how this stuff is is done and made, right? Like I, I talked to a friend of mine today at work and I said, what do you think of this logo? He's like, I don't know, man. He's like, looks like the same logo we've been staring at for 20 years, which let me say, like, I really appreciate actually this poster. Um, one of my worries was that Jurassic World was going to be the last poster that we got uh, with just the logo. Um, because after that they did character posters with dinosaurs and humans. Um, I really appreciate that they're doing yet again another teaser poster that's just the logo, just a uh, tagline. Um, because I have all four of those posters so far. So I'm excited to grab this one and, and put it up with the other four. Um, and then hopefully by movie six, you know, they'll they'll keep the same thing going, you know. And if we see a degradation of this symbol throughout the franchise, I think that would be kind of cool. The only outlier then at that point will be the Jurassic Park 3 poster um, <laughs> with the Spinoskeleton. Uh, but I'm really appreciative of just the logo and the tagline. Um, as far as the cracks go, I'm going to say that they're probably just overlaid um, in Photoshop. If you... If you know anything about like building these kinds of things, there's there's really two ways of achieving this. There's doing like an actual 3D model representation, and then there is doing um, Photoshop. And Photoshop is a very strong program that can make 2D things look 3D. Um, I feel like the original Jurassic World poster was built and then rendered in 3D, and I feel like this one is. I feel like this one is. Some of those assets with masked in textures and by that what i'm saying is um i haven't posted the making of the Jurassic Park podcast logo yet but essentially this feels like kind of what i did with the with the logo which was build the logo in 3d like nice and clean which to me looks like they just use assets from the last symbol and then overlay texture um, and I use Nuke. Uh, this artist may have used that or they might have used Photoshop. But essentially you're just overlaying it with different masking options and stuff and uh, different merge options like a multiply or a plus or whatever. 
Um, and what gives me that idea is this doesn't feel like this was sculpted out in like ZBrush or Maya or anything. It definitely feels like because all the lines of all the uh, shapes are intact. So, for instance, the J, right? The J isn't slanted once it breaks. It's just there's a break through the J. The same thing yeah. with the L. The L. Um, the same. It's it's the like the T Rex like the back of it, um, the back end of it. There's just a crack going through. There's nothing offset or kiltered um, to indicate that this image was was made in 3D or sculpted in styrofoam or or whatever. It just feels like maybe some Photoshop work, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just know. it's one way to go. Yeah, I think it's a really cool logo, and it does have like some cracked pieces like sitting on a shelf. You kind of see like above the W, there's a few pieces in the J. Um, and there's like whole sections missing up on the top and on the side. So that's, I think it's uh, a really cool look, uh, look to it. Um, the only thing that I wonder is, is, um, are they going to stick with this gray style throughout the rest of the series? And when you look back at the other symbols, uh, logos, they're very different from Jurassic Park to the Lost World and Jurassic Park 3. They all look like severely different and, uh, this changed, but not drastically. Um, so I, I wonder if they're going to stick with that format and just go gray, you know? Um, I've seen somebody online actually mentioned that the, the old, you know, or the blue logo, I think it was blue right from the first movie, right? In the, uh, park itself, or not in the first movie, in the, um, Jurassic World first movie. Yeah, so in the first movie, um, they announced with a blue logo. They were even doing, it was, oh, so when they announced Jurassic World, it was with a blue logo. Um, and that's where everyone inferred, like, oh, there's going to be sea dinosaurs. Okay, well, that wasn't wrong. Um, it's just that they 100% changed the logo to be blue, which, if I'm not mistaken, I think in the book, uh, was, the logo yeah. is blue because they talk about, oh, he gives him a little hat with a blue dinosaur logo on it or whatever. Um, so that kind of, like, calls back to the original book. Um, but I don't know if we ever really saw the logo we have to have seen the logo in the film, right? At some point. Yeah, yeah. I forget, but either way, um, all the cups were blue in the movie, and you know, all <laughs> the all the like petting zoo and all that stuff. That was all blue. So. There was a lot of whites and blacks too. So, right, um, kind of just those two colors on uh, just like on the trucks and stuff like that. So, but um, I, I don't know. I like it. Uh, I have no problems with this logo. Um, as far as the tagline goes, life finds a way. Really cool. Uh, June 22nd, 2018. That's all that says. Um, and this, then we have the smoke and the fire embers. And uh, there's also maybe what looks like ash because there's sort of, you see the smoke, but you also see like a snowy texture or ash, you know, texture. So right, I right, think that right. is really lending itself to the volcano theory and, and all that. So yeah, and, uh, um, it really plays out well. My only real beef with the logo is the, the, the text in the what I call the banner of the logo. Um, I I was trying to figure out what fell off about Jurassic World number one. Um, I looked; they didn't change the size or like in the what artists would would call in the Y direction, right? So the up and down. They didn't squish it up and down, um, and they didn't widen it in the X. Um, you know, like to stretch it that way. What I'm looking at from the Jurassic World poster is they just shifted it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, nothing changed, really. Yeah, nothing really changed as far as that, and that's fine. That's great. Um, to me, it doesn't feel correctly placed inside that banner. Um, and so when you look, like the tip of the J comes right to the edge of the top of the banner, and that's kind of like a graphic design, like, no-no. Like, you don't, do, <laughs> you don't do that kind of stuff. You try to avoid it. Um, and then the, the subtitle, Fallen Kingdom, is just put in a smaller font underneath of it, um, and so now there's like this like leftover um, there's like leftover banner in the bottom right and the bottom left and it just feels kind of empty and vacant and and someone on Twitter uh, showed uh, that that Fallen Kingdom was not actually centered yeah, um, that was on the Jack, image. But, Jack I mean we're talking outpost, about yeah. nitpicky things right like when an artist is kind of under the thumb with a client like as long as the client doesn't notice something um, – <laughs> You know, they might let it go if they if they're under the the deadline or, uh, you know, whatever. So I don't I don't necessarily 
get on this artist for that. If you look at that image that that person posted, let me find out who that was. No, it was Jack um, from the Outpost. I, I, I it was Jack from the Outpost. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, when yeah, I'm looking I mean, at it with my, it was a couple you know, pixels. It wasn't like anything no. crazy, but I noticed. Like I look at it and I'm like Kingdom, and it just seems well, a little weird. Well, when you look at it with your naked eye, you see that the M on Kingdom, it looks closer to the curve than the F does. The F looks like right. on the other side looks very far compared to where the M is. And that's how I would line it up with my, you know, if I'm just, just visually lining it up really quick, not actually using any kind of, you know, lines or anything, I, I would just base it off of that. And to me right now, staring at it, it does look a little left-sided in a way. Um, but I think it is kind of tough to line up in a way because Fallen, way shorter than Jurassic Kingdom, long, about longer than World probably. But yeah, it looks like something is wrong because they don't have the same center point. But uh, I see what he was saying definitely about it just being a tad off. <laughs> I don't know you if know, it would have think... made a huge difference to me, but... Yeah, I think the... I think the lost world poster you know or logo kind of wins out over this one as far as like composition goes because i feel like the lost world really filled that banner nicely um and then you know there is a little bit of a of a blank section in for where jurassic park is is subtitled on that poster but that one to me seems a little more natural it's like a smaller banner underneath the larger banner um and we kind of lose a little bit of the tree line uh in in that poster or a little bit of space for trees uh, but I kind of like that one, I think, a little bit better. But I'm glad that this one is continuing the theme of the gray logo. Again, I love color. Um, but, you know, where I would like to see color now is if we could go back in time and get, the, you know, get the original Jurassic World logo, but in blue, this one in gray, and then maybe the next one be just utterly destroyed or ash mm. or or something or it's overgrown just a pile, again a like a pile of bricks on the ground that's <laughs> yeah something i don't know um yeah i you know. i always wonder like about retroactively going back and changing the logos because they've done that they did it with Jurassic Park 3 they added the T-Rex instead of the Spinosaurus yes um, they did and, and they did the- it with Jurassic Park 3D um the logo launching with that now is not the logo that launched originally okay. um you know, with that. So they, they do, do they do retroactively go back and change them? So who knows? Yeah. And it, it is confusing. Like this franchise is, isn't so bad with the confusing title. It's not anything like the fast and the furious, which is like super confusing when it comes to titles. Um, it's, they're just all over the place. Um, but it is slightly confusing when you do see Jurassic park, like we were talking about before as the subtitle to the lost world. Um, and now it's reversed. You know, we have actual subtitle instead of Jurassic World being the subtitle. Um, so it makes me wonder, like, would you ever be okay with, like, a retroactively going back and changing it to Jurassic Park underscore, like, The Lost World? Or even giving Jurassic Park 3 a subtitle? You know, like, like it initially was supposed to be Extinction, right? Or And I think there was even other ones. I forget off the top of my head here, but... Um, giving that one even a subtitle in itself just to kind of make like a unit uniform here with the the rest of the titles yeah you know i almost i almost think at this point like really that the original star wars movie is probably the only one that that can kind of get a pass for that (laughs) um the way that the way the last jurassic park collection was released on on blu-ray i thought was perfect it put everything in chronological order as far as like releases so it went if i'm not mistaken oh you know what I take that back. I think Jurassic Park 3D might have been right after Jurassic Park. But um, either way, I mean, we're in the world of information now. So it's like if really anybody wanted to know, you know, in 100 years, what order do I watch these movies in? Um, They're going to have a way better version of the Internet, I'm sure, that they can just (laughs) find that information out on a whim. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the uh, movies are, are confusing in general, like, you know, technically you should be watching Temple of Doom before Raiders of the Lost Ark, but nobody really does that too much, or, you know, the whole argument with whether you watch the prequels or the, the originals first for Star Wars, and, uh... uh or the prequels know. at all. Uh, hey, 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 I like the prequels. <laughs> um, or even, like, uh, you know, that uh, Tom Cruise movie that completely changed its t- title, uh, what was it, it was uh, Edge of Tomorrow... Oh. Edge of and Tomorrow, then, and then like what, to, Live, Die, Repeat or something? Yeah, Live, Die, Repeat. And now the sequel coming out is called Live, Die, Repeat, and Repeat. 
Which oh, is... that's not confusing whatsoever. <laughs> no, it's so dumb. So dumb. Don't do that, obviously. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd like to see them ever change the, you know, make it more uniform. But uh, it's an interesting thought and debate, I guess. But um, yeah, here's the I, problem uh, with know. it going uniform. I think if we were to lose a title, man, I Jurassic World. I'm not going to say it's a stronger title, but it's a more encompassing title. And I almost feel like we'd lose Jurassic Park, right? But to change a Spielberg title is blasphemy, correct? No, no, don't change that one. That would never, never change. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. It'd, but, it would be uh, interesting to f- see what they would do if that was the case. I, I do like this. I like the image. I like the, the you know, thought provokingness of the title and the poster itself. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people had things to say about it. Actually, I wanted to read something from the website first because Jurassic World. Uh, dot com did update a little bit and they added uh fallen kingdom stuff on there so uh they posted a little not article but uh summary here it says with all the wonder adventure and thrills synonymous with one of the most popular and successful franchises in cinema history this all new motion picture event sees the return of favorite characters and dinosaurs along with new breeds more awe-inspiring and terrifying than ever before Welcome to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Okay, cool. Um, and they, you know, they go on to just say who's in the movie, who it's directed by, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean that's uh, that sounds cool. I mean it doesn't really give anything away. It just says uh, we got some returning characters and dinosaurs, and I I like that they say returning dinosaurs. So we're we should expect to see some fan favorites maybe, and uh, we know. You know, the T-Rex is coming back. That's been plainly talked about out in the open. So, um, new breeds. That's cool. We're going to see some new stuff. I think that's uh, that would make everybody happy. Uh, more awe-inspiring and terrifying than ever before. Um, and, you know, Colin has been out, you know, on the circuit talking during his uh, promotion for the Book of Henry. He's been saying a lot about how dark and scarier and, and just how, you know, uh, more of a horror movie I think this could be. Yeah, um, he's been talking a lot about Jurassic World, and I, I feel bad for him. He's kind of getting, he's kind of getting raked through the mud right now. Um, so, Colin, you know, if you're listening, I haven't seen the Book of Henry yet. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it, but uh, you know, I just, I'm sorry, man, that you're going through some <laughs> some hell right now with, you know, kind of critics and and the movie, and and everyone just wants to talk to you about Jurassic World two, and and you know, I saw one article that was like, oh, Book of Henry wasn't great, so he shouldn't do episode nine of Star Wars, come and it's on, like, yeah. come on, like, the Star Wars is gonna be great no matter what. It, it, he's not in this stuff alone. I mean, in Book of Henry, I'm sure he didn't make every single decision uh, that maybe led to the the miscommunication of that film either. So. Uh, you know, I feel I feel sorry for the guy, and and he ne- he needs a win right now. Yeah, and I think uh, I think he'll get one. You know, as a producer and writer of this movie. So, um, but it's still a long ways away. I mean, obviously, it's a year from now. <laughs> but uh, right, yeah, it, this is a great first tease. So I did want to, like I said before, mention a few things from the internet here. Um, yeah, sure. Let's go through. I know you, you I, asked I, people. I did ask people, but uh, I'm going to start off here with Chris Pratt. <laughs> I didn't oh, ask great. him specifically, but he says, uh, in one year, life finds a way. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. We are 80 days into filming. I can't tell you much, except this movie is going to be freaking awesome. Who's excited? Um, so that's cool. 80 days into filming. And uh, yeah, we knew they were about halfway before they, um, you know, made the trip out to Hawaii. So who knows really what, uh, you know, to expect scenery wise. So yeah, exactly. that. we have new cast member, Daniela Pineda. She just, uh, kind of quoted Malcolm, your science, uh, scientists were so preoccupied with whether they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Um, so that's cool. Everybody's, uh, really loving Malcolm. So with the fact that his tagline is in this poster, life finds a way and she's quoting him, it does make you consider the fact that he maybe plays a big role. You know, uh, we don't know really, but um, he was in the UK filming for a while. I think, I don't know specifically, but you know, I think Frank Marshall posted a picture of him or posted a picture of his, his uh, chair the other day, but it could have been referring back to the UK days. The UK um, sets. Not, yeah. Yeah. I'm let, not really let me ask sure you this. That. How, how much Malcolm are you wanting in this film personally? Personally, um, 
Wow. I mean, it's so tough. I don't think they could overdo it <laughs> in my book. You don't think so? I don't know. I, I love the character. He is my favorite character. After hearing him in 2XL, I, I've been like, man, I need some new Malcolm quotes, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like the, his his lines in that, that robot were so great that I need like new, real, like good quotes. So, um, you know, I, I don't think he's going to be in a majority of the movie. I think he's going to play pivotal roles here and there. Maybe may, – I hope more than Wu did in the first Jurassic World. Um, okay. I hope more than that, but uh, a, a pivotal part for sure. Where okay, is he going to be? Saying, I, don't I at know. least want what Wu did um, in the Jurassic World movie, like at least that much screen time for that character um, yeah. and more than just like a little cameo or or something, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, and they're both they're both back, so we'll we'll see what happens. You know, I don't really know, but um, I want him to be in a good amount. I want to see him a lot. And uh, yeah, I, I did see a picture of him the other day. I think was when he was in the UK, and he had a beard. So I'm like, man, are we gonna get a bearded Malcolm? That <laughs> that'd be really awesome. Oh, well, just just that depression <laughs> continues for 20 years. That just the <laughs> depression that, like, just no one believed him at first, and then. I don't know. I guess it depends on if the Lost World really exists in this franchise, which oh, it, does. it should. Stop. It does. It Absolutely. better. It better. 100% it better. Yeah. Um, we also, not much here, but from Frank Marshall, he did tweet, Today we are one year away from the re- release of Jurassic World, the fall- uh, frig, The Fallen Kingdom. Why do I keep saying that? I, I think it's just like it rolls off the tongue better. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I think The Fallen Kingdom, because I even said it once, I think that rolls off the tongue a little bit better, but... Yeah, right. you also you also did say Jurassic World too, so I'm gonna call you out on that specifically. I, it's it's all synonymous, <laughs> you know. It's all the same thing. Jurassic World two is so much easier than Jurassic Park five, and <laughs> but we know the truth. Yeah, we get it. We everybody knows what's going on here. Um, exactly. Bayona did tweet it. Uh, he just said Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. Uh, not much going on there. Um, but uh, yeah, I did reach out to everybody on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, we got a ton. A ton of responses so uh awesome. let's kind of go through some of them here um uh at jhn reed says fallen kingdom talks about the fall of man it is how uh, it is about how we exploit and abuse animals and nature for our own selfish reasons so i don't know where this if this is specifically information like he has oh i don't know but yeah, uh I mean- it, I think it does. I think it does kind of, um, you know, speak to those those points. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know, um, we, you know, we were we were kind of told that that there's going to be a lot more interacting with humans and stuff uh, as the as the sequels move forward. So, uh, like you were saying earlier, is it our kingdom? Is it is it the dinosaurs' kingdom? Is it Nublar specifically? Like, we really have no clue. Um, you know, which which is really good. It, yeah. I, I think the name is vague, but it's not too vague. It's not like, it's not like Star Trek Into Darkness. <laughs> like, okay, well, what does that even mean? Like, yeah. that movie was to me specifically much darker than the original. I don't know. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Sickle Claw here says Fallen Kingdom slash T Rex Kingdom. The parallels in my head right now. Um, so yeah, that we didn't really talk about that too much. Um. I did that did pop into my head as well the the, the T Rex kingdom from Jurassic World that's where the T Rex is is uh, shown off on display and all that stuff so yep how does that tie in does it tie in and we know the, the T Rex is back so she's making her third appearance you know in oh, uh, could it be the movie? fall of the T Rex that's what I've been like talking the about very this entire time Rex? you know I've been that's my theory this whole time this running theory that. We have to say goodbye to her at some point. You know, we have to. I, I think she's but, a character as much as everybody else. That article on, on JurassicWorld.com says returning characters and dinosaurs. Um, and, you know, Fallen Kingdom maybe does mean, you know, the destruction of, you know, that dinosaur. Yeah, maybe. I think that's a little too narrow. But and at the same time, like, I, I know I've discussed this on the podcast. Like, to me, it doesn't matter what T-Rex is what, like. I, I know to a lot of people they have very specific like uh, love for uh, the Jurassic Park one T Rex, but to me they're like white tailed deer, right? They're all they're <laughs> all the T-Rex. they're all the same of the same <laughs> kind of animal, um, you know. So uh, 
because like so what happens when it let's say let's say rexy does move on in this film what what do they do in the next one do they just not have a t-rex because no one wants to see another t-rex like that doesn't make any sense to me no i mean so, there's, i don't know i would say there's you know the new blar or i'm sorry sorna side of things maybe there is other stuff over there we know they're oh i mean who knows at this point because of jurassic park 3 but there's there could potentially be three or more or two. I don't know. Um, yeah, we don't really know. So Or none. Yeah, it's just interesting to to think about, you know, what does kingdom really mean in this title? Mm-hmm. Um, we have Queen of Nublar here says the title is awesome. It's like a foreshadowing of what could happen with is the Nubar. The poster is beautiful. And uh, there was a part two, but I'm not seeing it here at the moment. Um so, uh, yeah, we talked about all kinds of foreshadowing here, and I think it does. It kind of uh, evokes a lot of things. Um, Caleb Burnett says, honestly, hoping we get lots of Lost World music theme as well. So that's besides the point, but uh, absolutely. <laughs> I really hope we do. Like, that's oh, been a I talking think we point will. for you a know, while. Uh, you know? Giacchino's first gig was on the Lost World video game. Um, he made it a point to put that Lost World theme into Jurassic World just in case that movie didn't get a sequel. Uh, I think we're going to get a lot of the Lost World themes. And if we don't really get hope. more from the video game, I'm going to be really disappointed. And if this is a fallen kingdom of sorts, maybe we, we get that jungle trek, you know, kind of adventure tone from the from the Lost World, which yes, is like please, so prominent that. in that movie. Um, Michael Pierce, a uh, friend of the podcast, says, I, I think it's a great name. I just think the logo's cracks look a tad off. Something looks too, too, uh, 2 2D about them. Almost like Photoshop overlay. So that's what kind of what we were talking about before. Yeah, you know, and, and he's he's pretty much got it right. Like it, this do, this doesn't seem like something that was specifically digitally carved. Um like if there's, there's if anybody knows there's a program called ZBrush where you can legitimately sculpt all this detail into a 3D model and then you can mm-hmm. you know render that 3D model out. This this definitely or there's there's kind of some old school ways of of just overlaying other image and images and using like different computer algorithms to kind of blend those images and to me this feels more like they blended those cracks in rather than sculpted them in yeah i guess digitally or slash physically however you really see that world uh fede here says logo equals beautiful seems made of rock the cracks are great poster equals better than jurassic world one title glad it's not epoch or epic uh it depends on how you want to say that word i was so glad this, yeah, me too. This is me talking now. Uh, I was so glad that it's not epic or e- epoch because, like, I would I looked at that word and I actually like wanted to look up how to say it, and a lot of yeah. things said epic, and I'm like, oh, that would be so bad. Jurassic World epic? No, please don't. Or even epoch was just horrible. I I, I was not a fan of that. You have to have like so many syllables, I think, in some of these tub titles in sub <laughs> in some of the <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh, you have to have so many syllables in some of these subtitles. Uh, I just think Epic or Epoch just wasn't enough. It didn't really roll off the tongue. Obviously, like uh, tub title sequels or whatever it was I just said. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think oh. Fallen Kingdom works. I'm glad it's not Ancient Futures. Uh, yeah, I get true. that. That's kind of a cool, uh, you know, working title. But Ancient Futures also doesn't really say much of anything. It I think really Fallen doesn't. Kingdom. Once the movie is released, Fallen Kingdom is going to say a lot about what that film was about. Oh, for sure. Uh, Caleb Burnett, again, I think we just read one from him. He says, I love it. It's dark and it isn't what I was expecting. I'm excited to see how it reflects the plot. The poster slash logo is great. Uh, So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, American Wolf 2 says Jurassic World slash Disney World. Fallen Kingdom slash Magic Kingdom. Maybe we'll see yes. a haunted Spinosaurus mansion as the third title. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Spinosaurus, um, the ghost you know, host. They're saying that this movie is supposed to be scarier. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll get some kind of, you know, lurking in the, uh, you know, maybe an expanded sequence like the Shez sequence on the first movie would be really cool. Yeah. I mean, as much as this is a universal franchise and, and, and stuff and it, it modeled a lot of it off of the city walk you know the the main street areas um in universal uh it does to me it feels a lot like disney and magic kingdom and, and just the way they built that park jurassic world um with the monorail itself that's obviously like a, a true disney thing and um yeah it does the whole kingdom aspect does evoke evoke that you know 
Yes, it totally sadness. does. I think it does evoke sadness now when you see a fallen kingdom. You think about how how much you love like the Magic Kingdom or, or just Disney in general, and you're like, oh my god, like if if that wasn't around, like I'd be so upset. Um, so that is a, a pretty interesting thought. Um, let's see, Velociraptor eighty two says, I'm beyond excited. I literally screamed when I saw the beautiful poster, but now I'm worried about Rexy, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom in parentheses there. So another parallel to the t-rex kingdom uh, i i think people are on to something with that so i wouldn't dismiss it too much and uh I, I, like you said it is a bit narrow of a you know relation there it, i think it means more than just t-rex kingdom but it, i think it does mean more than one thing yeah for sure and you know if this volcano thing it comes to you know comes to fruition you know i was i was driving around uh the main um the the main island of of Hawaii uh, a few weeks back and um, there's definitely you you see you see lava like everywhere um, not fresh lava hardened black lava uh, but I mean I, the sheer magnitude of how large these lava flows are um, the island we know is small um, based on what they've said about dimensions and all that stuff in the in the films or or just I don't know like when you look at the scale of relations of where things are on, on the maps. The island is small. If a volcano were to go off on, on Isla Nublar, even though it's fictional, the island would be destroyed, completely gone. There's There'd be no coming back from uh, you know, from that until new growth took over. So uh, just, just based on what I saw in Hawaii, I mean, these lava flows are miles and miles and miles uh, wide. You know, they're, mm -hmm. they're insane. So, uh, you know, I, I think kingdom means basically everything, which I'm going to be sad if that comes true. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about all the possibilities, and it does make me very sad because that means everything. Like, everything we've come to know from that island, you know, the the old visitor center. Uh, while it was great to see for a split second, <laughs> essentially, in Jurassic World, you know, gone. All the Jeeps, right. all the explorers that are somewhere out there, um, all the dinosaurs, the T-Rex, the and, and potentially raptors and all the stuff that we've, you know, come to know and love now even more from Jurassic World, like, just gone. Everything. Um, moving on here, Jurassic underscore Park 5, or V, says, um, I think it's a decent title. My one fib is the font difference. Fallen Kingdom is too spaced out and should have had the same font as Jurassic World. I don't yep, really I have agree. that issue. I don't have that issue too much, but, no? uh, I, I mean, the, the spaced out part, eh. I don't know. It doesn't really bother me, but uh, I know you you got some issues there with the font. Yeah, I honestly, I bet they had them at probably half the spacing initially, and they were like, oh, no, there's there's too much blank space, and so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could see. It's just a design choice, really. It's It, it could change. You know, we don't know. Um, Fuzzy T-Rex here says, I think Fallen Kingdom does not fit with the Jurassic series. There's something about the logo that's wrong. It almost seems, or it seems almost too long. Is he maybe talking about the banner? Uh, or like, the, uh, is the title too long? Something doesn't fit with the Jurassic series. I I'm pretty sure he means the title. So something about the logo that's wrong. It almost seems too long. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, I, maybe. Mean, I, don't, I hope he's not kingdom. talking about the banner because like that's just, you know, a poster. Um, but uh, in terms of maybe the title being too long, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it's not it, it's not really that long. It's shorter than the Lost World, you know, Jurassic Park um, by a syllable, syllable right? Um, yeah, Kingdom, maybe, yeah. Lost, uh, uh, I don't know. It's around the same. Hey, personal but, preference, I guess. Oh, own. yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, it does kind of, you know, I think somebody actually did point it out, but fallen revenge of the fallen is a transformer title um so it does kind of evoke that kind of you know transformer -y kind of thing so i don't know maybe you just couldn't like this title itself kingdom of the crystal skull i'm just thinking off the top of my head of different yeah, versions of this title um this reminds me of when everyone was getting on the word dark right like it was the dark knight thor dark, the uh, dark world dark, uh dark star trek moon, into yeah. darkness you know yeah all of it yeah yeah. And Dawn has been a lot, you know, used a lot recently too. Yep. Yep. Um Dawn of Justice. Is it was that even the subtitle? The 
Superman versus Batman. Oh, jeez. All right, so that was Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Yeah, yeah so Dawn was in there. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Like, first, yeah, I mean, we already talked about how long those are. But, um, yeah, so that's a, that, that is a, a legit point, you know? In, 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 in terms of does it fit, I don't know. I don't, like we said, it kind of feels different. And uh, does it fit? I don't know, but it, it definitely feels different. It's, it's a, you know, a very different, at least the lost world. I mean, at the, t- at the time, back in 1997, you didn't really have much to go off of. So the lost world probably sounded fine. You know, it sounded really cool. And it had that dinosaur imagery that you got from, you know, the old lost world and stuff. So I don't, I don't think anybody had a problem back then. But now after, you know, the lost world, Jurassic Park, then Jurassic Park 3, you have a number, which is, uh, or not, I don't know, not a number, slashes, I guess, but um, then yeah, you went you have back the to just a single title, Jurassic World, and now you have a subtitle that, yeah, maybe it could be weird, but I don't have a problem. I mean, for me, not having a number or whatever, really, the, the whole blame for me is on Jurassic Park 3. There was no reason that movie shouldn't have had a subtitle. I know. Um, yeah. You know, other Dumb. than to have the claw marks make the three, which is cheesy and goofy, but it's, you, know, you, know, you could whatever. do that behind the logo. It doesn't have to be part like part of the name. It, the extinction right. necessarily, I don't think that would have worked. Uh, it has nothing to do with the movie. Um, right. But uh, another subtitle, uh, call it, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Wrap their <laughs> eggs <laughs> or uh, resonating chamber or something, something stupid. But don't, yeah. I, I don't like. The fact that there's Jurassic Park 3 after we didn't even have a Jurassic Park 2, you know? Technically, right, yeah. Yeah, it, it yeah. was a subtitle or, or right. a main title. I don't even know. Um, let's see. Stuff and Nonsense on Twitter says, uh, and who had a kingdom in Jurassic World? The T-Rex. So, yeah, a- another one pointing that out. So, uh, getting sad. Let's Everyone's see. drawing this conclusion, and I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I think I think you know she's what twenty five, twenty something years, almost twenty five years old. By the time the movie comes out, she will be right. So, um, it's just time. You know, I don't know how long these things last, but uh, especially with uh, you know, DNA that's processed through you know who knows how. Yeah, exactly. Um, Todd Hatch here says, isn't the Jurassic World logo blue in-universe? Why not use that on the, these posters? Ashes are a nice if foreboding touch, though. So, yeah, kind of some stuff we talked about. Um, the ashes, definitely foreboding. Uh, I, I didn't notice them right away, but after, like, you know, analyzing the poster a little bit, you're like, oh, yeah, they're... There's some ashes there. Oh no. Yeah, I didn't notice them right away either until uh, I sat down here at my PC and and got like a high res image. Yeah. He does say that he wishes they had some more color, though I guess they're just building off Jurassic World's also kind of drab poster. So, kind of like I said, I wish there was maybe a little bit more life, but uh, this is what we got. <laughs> you know, this is for anybody out there who is is maybe saying that it's a drab poster. Um, I, I gotta say, I disagree. I don't think it's drab necessarily. Mm-hmm. I, I think this is really, you know, in the world of, of re- poster releases today, we don't ever get nice, simple posters. Um, you look back at the eighties and nineties, the Ghostbuster poster was just the logo, the Jurassic Park poster, just the logo, um, yeah. Indiana Jones. It was just Indiana Jones with like a little montage kind of thing going on in the back that didn't really spoil anything. Now you have, you know, you can look at the Avengers poster and you know 100% who's in that movie, what is taking place, like where it's taking yeah. – like you know the whole plot of the movie. And so to me, these these teasers that that um, the production team is being – honestly, they're being allowed to release images like this. These are – these are nods to the fans of saying we haven't we haven't forgot how just powerful that original poster was. Um, and I guarantee that by the time this movie comes out, you will have 10 other variations of Jurassic World posters that got actors and dinosaurs and all kinds of stuff because that's what winds up in the theater, not these very simple um, you know, logo posters. These won't wind up anywhere other than maybe my wall or something. <laughs> but Well, we're in a, a strange age of, of posters right now or just even teaser images and stuff like that. Uh, for a while, it was it was terrible. And then all of a sudden we got to like, the the Kong Skull Island posters and and uh, Logan and stuff like that and and it was like a renaissance and we're all like 
Yes. Oh my god, this is a turning point. This is it. And then we got like Spider Man three. Or no, why do I say that? Spider Man Spider Man three. Spider Man Homecoming. Somebody oh, I was I was reading a tweet the other day, actually, and that's that screwed me up. Somebody calling it Spider Man three on like the radio giving away tickets to the movie. Um but yeah, it it, it got me. But uh Spider Man Homecoming is is really messed up. Like the 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 poster or you know, image or whatever they've been releasing. It has right. Iron Man like seven times on it. It's got every character like you said and every set piece and every everything on there. Just too much. So right. yeah, the poster tells you a lot of information that is unnecessary uh, to know. I Tra- guess that's just like trailers in general as well. So I hope they're they're kind of like approaching this in an old school way. Maybe maybe, maybe we'll see something different with the marketing of this movie versus the last. I don't know. Yeah, who knows. Uh, let's see, Mateus, uh, or at Wolfman, Mateus says, uh, I love the title. It refers to the park as a kingdom and the flames, cracks, and the burned threes mean something big is going to happen. Burned threes. Burned trees? Trees? Threes? Maybe it's just a, you know, misspelling or, you know, autocorrect? I don't know. (laughs) I don't see any threes in there. I mean, if, uh, No. But uh, whatever that means, sure. There's definitely some burn threes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, we talked about all that stuff. Uh, uh, it's it is interesting though, like you said, that they're referring to the park as a kingdom. We we haven't really gotten that aside from T Rex Kingdom. The park itself has never been referred to as a kingdom. So that is maybe an interesting turn of events, but we don't know that that's specifically what it means. Yeah, you never know. Except for the end of Jurassic World, when she roars over like the entire backdrop of of the park, man, that makes you feel like that's her kingdom. Proving you know? the point again. Oh no, no, she can't die. You- <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, at Madi Z Z A I D A N. Sorry, I don't know if I, I didn't pronounce it, but I just spelled it. Uh, looks amazing. The title is mysterious. It means either the human kingdom or dinosaur kingdom. The crack is wonderful. Love it so much. Yeah. A Agreed. lot of the same yeah, points. I, I don't disagree. <laughs> it is mysterious and means a lot of things. Uh, at Bloody Wonder here says, title sounds a bit fan fiction-y to me. Looks like a, a game or a spin-off novel. Poster is generic, but cracks echoing the Lost World logo is interesting. Um, fan, and, how, so yeah. how do you feel about this being referred? Because to me... Jurassic World was the ultimate fan fiction, right? Like Jurassic World was the culmination of the toys I had as a kid, the scenarios that I would come up with as a kid, um, you know, playing with those toys. Do you and especially like now with like Star Wars movies being made by original Star Wars fans, does does the word fan fiction like carry different weight these days? Like I feel like I feel like now it's almost like, man, like Star Wars movies are fan fiction and they're fantastic and Jurassic World was essentially fan fiction and it was fantastic like so I don't know if that's necessarily I know he I know he or she maybe means it a little bit negative but I don't know if I I don't know if I think that's a bad thing when it comes to the Jurassic franchise you know I don't think it's fan fictiony um and a lot of people like you said have been saying that about Star Wars in general like you know the the people that grew up loving these movies are now creating them and it it I guess you could say that's fan fiction-y, but at the same time, I think fan fiction is uh, generally uh, just a broad sense that it's somebody who is not partaking in the industry in a way. You know, they're just, you know, writing their own thoughts on a series and and kind of putting themselves in it. Not to be disparaging or anything like that, but the people who made Star Wars and are making Jurassic World, they're in the industry, they're making movies, they're, they're doing things aside from just those things as well you know so right. i don't necessarily consider that stuff fan fiction even though a lot of people do say hey, we're in the age of fan fiction getting stories from people who grew up loving these so it's an interesting dichotomy but i i don't think this sounds fan fictiony it, like i said it does sound slightly out of place when you put it next to the others but it's interesting and i like to see where where it's going to go i think if anything it sounds very 2017 Right, like in just the movies that we're surrounded by now. Exactly, um, yeah. But we're also in the age of reboots, remakes, and sequels. So it's, 
This only makes sense. What else would you do? Like we said, we don't want to call Jurassic World 2. They're not going to, for sure, not going to call it Jurassic Park 5. We can't call it Jurassic World, like just not name a subtitle. It's got to be something. Right. So right. in all the subtitles in all the world, I think they chose a good one, you know? Yep. Uh, let's see what else we have. Billy Reed says, Fallen Kingdom undoubtedly refers to the park in a state of ruin. I can't wait to see what awaits the ruins of Jurassic World. Sure. Yes, 100%. Uh, let's see. Kelsey. Uh, sorry, I said that weird. Kelsey says, <laughs> it's amazing. I think it's it shows the true aftermath of the first Jurassic World film. And that's something I'm really looking forward to seeing. Um, also underneath that, uh, since it was a fully operational park and the incident happened, this film will show the continuation of their mistakes and how that affects real world or the real world uh, like prehistoric land will meet our modern one and those will clash and become a fallen kingdom so yeah it's like a, a few different things because the true aftermath of jurassic world would be a fallen kingdom you know like the park itself and then those two things clashing to become a fallen kingdom which would be our kingdom so yeah, I don't know. It's up in the air. It could be everything. All of them. It could be it could be one very minute T-Rex kingdom part of the island. It could be our entire planet. We don't know. It could be a domino effect, you know? Yep, 100%. Uh, let's see. Boomstick Wizard. The poster scares me. The title stands for more than just one kingdom. I'm afraid we'll witness the end of Isla Nublar with casualties. So exactly what we've been saying. We literally just <laughs> said those exact words. Um, so, yeah, um, more than one kingdom. I, I, I agree wholeheartedly. And, yeah, I think so too. Uh, I, I got to mention this one too. This is from uh, uh, American Wolf 2. And he says, oh, the poster is, well, a dream to edit. And he uh, <laughs> he edited the poster through the image of the classic, uh, I've fallen and I can't get up. You know that lady that, that fell next to her bed and she's going to use life alert. So it's a it's a mock of, of the uh, the old commercials you used to see on TV. So Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and I can't get up. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. Life That's alert. Amazing. Life finds a way. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a, a you know, I guess, uh, what do you call it? Advertisement for life alert. They need um, it, I suppose. Uh, Tristan Garnett says, generic. Not the worst, but 100% not the best. <laughs> Could have been way better. <laughs> oh, I, I just find, I don't know why I find that so funny, but well, I love that people that's... are being blunt about it. You know, like, people, we all have our own feelings about it, and uh, we're not all going to love it. So it's, uh, you know, unfortunate, but uh, sorry you don't like it there, Tristan yeah sorry tristan that's all right though like maybe tweet back at us and tell us like what your favorite jurassic park poster is because again i i agree it's not it's not the worst it's not the best it's it's a it's a jurassic world poster which it looks very similar to the other four before it so um i think as far as like diversity and stuff you'll see that stuff later um again i'm appreciative of the the theme that's happening in all these teaser posters um you know because we could just not get them which is which would be disappointing you know i i still would love a jurassic world uh dvd that was just the logo or a blu-ray i guess at this point but you know that that doesn't exist i'm, I'm still waiting for that uh if you, if you have one out there in the uk and you want to you know send it my way that'd be awesome yeah uh kenny here says um loving the new name so it's very true I love the new name too. Yeah, the new um, name is great. There's no, there's no denying that. Yeah. Um, let's uh, actually do something, and, and uh, why don't we move over to Instagram? Of course, I don't have this up at the moment, so let's take a look. Actually, here it is. Um, so I, I asked the same thing over on Instagram, and uh, let's start with Indominus Jez says, "Perfect name with huge surprises." Uh, huge surprises? Uh, sure. I mean. We don't know <laughs> what this movie's going to be, so definitely no going to be clue. surprised. Uh, Ted Brothers, uh, who is on the episode this week, so definitely listen to Jay and Ted's 
Jurassic Adventures. Uh, really awesome new segment. He says, the cracked and destroyed Jurassic World sign is very reminiscent of the Lost World, and uh, the amber floating in the air suggests some kind of destruction. I think we're headed for for darker waters, and I'm totally on board. So hold on to your butts, because life has found a way. Yes, two movie quotes in one post. Oh, man, if that was a tagline on one <laughs> of the films. <laughs> you guys, Jurassic World 3, hold on to your butts. It's got to be. I mean, what else could it be, you know? All right, we'll start that hashtag. After this movie clears out and it's out of the theaters, we're going to get Hold On To Your Butts as the tagline for the final film. I mean what? They got that quote in in uh, Kong, so why can't we get it as a subtitle? Oh, did they get the quote? I haven't, see, I haven't seen Kong yet, but now I'm really excited. Sorry. Uh, let's no, go. Eddie the Bat says, It's a beautiful title. Would have never guessed. The destroyed symbol is great. That could be amber or volcanic destruction with the flames coming off. Yep, could be. I don't think it's amber. I mean amber colored for sure but uh, maybe it's invoking that amber you know sensibility but it's definitely uh some charred you know something or other yeah i don't know is amber really how how would i mean it's rock right if it gets hot enough i guess it could burn i I don't know (laughs) i just think you know just the amber coloring but that's about it um sgts uh or let's see let's try to read this again sgt slash 007 uh, the subtitle is nothing special. It's not bad, but it isn't memorable to me. It's just all right. Um, and then a little later on, uh, we got another post from the same person. And I think it's uh, just a lot going through this person's head. The more I think about it, the more I start to dislike it. Like it. Uh, the only th- other film in the... F- in the f- oh, man, I got to read this again. <laughs> The only other film in the in the franchise to have a second title is The Lost World. And that was from the book of the same name. The new subtitle has nothing new to bring. It's very generic, almost like what would be expected from a Transformers film. Uh, I think it's very long, uh, just not natural for a film of this franchise. I'm starting to think Jurassic World 2 would have been fine. Again, just my opinion. Hmm. He's obviously got, uh, or he or she's obviously got some, uh, th- th- this was obviously not a good day for movie news for them. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I'm sorry. It's, a, it's certainly, uh, uh, you know, a worthy opinion. And uh, like a lot of people have said, it, it does feel long. It feels generic. It feels interesting, weird. Um, so I think it's a valid opinion. Uh, Austin83 Young says, I absolutely love it. I instantly got chills when I read Fallen Kingdom. The ember rising sets an immediate tone. The cracks in the logo remind me of The Lost World. Aside from the original JP poster, Fallen Kingdom's poster might be my favorite. That's a cool one. That's that's actually yeah. really interesting, being the favorite. So I think uh, The Lost World has to be my favorite. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I gotta say, I gotta go with the original. I really love that that solid graphic design, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and, and just the solid colors of that thing um i'm trying to think if it's between lost world or jurassic world i think i'm going lost world it's do you still have that color and it was it just looked like the rock and the leaves it was awesome yeah uh jurassic.cc says looks absolutely gorgeous love those glowing embers as a collector of every limited edition in the jp franchise i personally can't wait for the steelbook release for this and i hope it will look like this poster but with even more glowing embers and I am, of course, beyond excited for the film. The title is better than I could have imagined. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for the for the film as well. And I think the title, you know, we've said this a million times. I agree for sure. <laughs> that uh, that's it. That's all I got. That's a, a lot. I I, uh, I did want to include everybody. We have been recording now for over an hour. I didn't expect over an that. Hour. I kind of expected and- like a 30 minute special edition episode <laughs> of the Jurassic Park podcast, but. We're over an hour. It's just what happens. That's all right. You know, thank you to all the fans out there that responded to this so quickly. Um, I think between the posting and the time of recording, there was maybe two hours. Um, we've put out, you know, surveys and questions before for like, you know, a day or two and get like maybe one or or maybe get like a handful of responses. But, you know, this just goes to show how much everyone kind of cares about uh, today's announcement. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm excited that everyone jumped on board right away to be a part of the episode. Yeah, man, it's it's very exciting, and I can't wait to see what happens. Obviously, we've said that a million times. So we'll wrap it up here. Um, where can everybody find you online? 
Uh, you guys can find me at Aaron D. Byer over on Twitter. Uh, you can also look me up on IMDb um, just with the same name. I'm trying to think right now if I've got anything. I've got stuff coming up that I can't talk about. But, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I don't and, think I have anything too current in, in theaters. And you're, current, you're uh, currently, uh, yeah, you're currently are on the podcast, but you're constantly on the podcast as well. <laughs> That's what I was going with. You are on yeah, all the time. You're a you're big talking- contributor, so... If you want to find more from from Aaron, definitely search on our website. Use the search bar and, and type in his name. You can find everything from him. Um, so yeah, yeah. If uh, so, I just want to throw this out there. If you guys are you know you guys and girls are wanting to talk about um, some Jurassic Park video games, um, the Jurassic Park game trail uh, right now it's been a lot of like two XL heavy stuff. Um, if there's a game that you specifically want to hear about, you know, please tweet at me. Um, if it's something that we haven't played. Uh, and you feel comfortable enough wanting to talk about that game uh, on the podcast, we'd love to have you. Uh, we just would like to... It's not that we don't want all the 2XL stuff. It's just that we would definitely like to diversify with uh, some video game talk, too. I know you guys have been asking for it. So feel oh, yeah. free to tweet at me. Yeah, and uh, definitely you can reach out to us via our website, www.jurassicparkpodcast.com. I had to remember what it was as I was saying it. <laughs> Um, so there's that at Jurassic Park Pod on Twitter, uh, Jurassic Park Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, all that. So check us out, follow us, uh, tweet at us, let us know what you think about this poster, and uh, listen to us. You are listening to us, I'm assuming. So uh, you can also find us on iTunes, Podomatic, Google Play, all that stuff. Our website, you can listen. Uh, so check it out. And uh, I'm at Brad Jost on Twitter as well. So thank you for listening to this special edition midweek episode of the Jurassic Park podcast. Or not midweek. It's kind of end of week, I guess. End of week. And you'll get another episode on Monday as well. Yeah, so that's a a lot of episodes there. And definitely, like I said, check out the episode this week, which is number 103 uh, with Jay Jurassic and Ted Brothers hosting a brand new segment. Really fun. They talk about all kinds of nostalgic things, Jurassic, all kinds of current things, Jurassic really just anything that pops in their head so i think you'll enjoy that one and uh thank you yep we'll thanks guys. Soon, guys have a, good, have a uh, good weekend i guess yeah take it easy bye five minutes drop what you're doing and leave now